Hello, pick breakers and sheep hunters. This is Dirty Duty Summons, and I'm underwater. And I just want to show you the guys the project, projects, the progress. <laughs> All right, so you can see it's still outlined. Uh, the entire area has been cleared. And it is all underwater now. Um, I do not know for sure if it's done exactly what I want it to be doing, which is, um, well, I, I, I hope it's actually been clearing out source blocks. I think it has been, but I don't know for sure. And so, um, you know, it's fine if it doesn't. We'll have, we'll have to figure that out. But um, I think it did. All right, so the next stage is going to be, let's, let's break this open a bit. I, I kind of encased everything just in case this area flooded. <laughs> Turned out it went okay. All right, so let's see here. So we got lots of we got lots of glass already in the reserves, So, but let's fill it up a little bit more. I've been making glass like a madman. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to the... This mode. This is the um, the wall making mode. So it'll make a it'll make a roof, walls, and a floor, and it'll do it out of glass, which is exactly what we're trying to do. It's gonna take a while. I don't think it's even. It's not even getting power right now, so I need to go turn the power generators on. So um, I'll go do that. Let's see here. Oh man, it's raining again. I need to make a dock or something. I need, yeah, I need to. What I need to do is expand my house so I don't have to keep doing this. <laughs> Alright, so I got plenty of fuel, plenty of oil. This is set to the right frequency, and so let's switch on a couple of engines. Um, people have been suggesting that we run three just to, so it can go faster, which uh, we can do that real quick here. So you need to adjust the way the pipes are, are set up. There we go. We'll take a fourth. Well, looks like it take the power. I'll have to keep an eye on the system because I'm not 100 sure if it'll if it'll uh, it'll be okay with using that much water. So I have two different uh, water supply systems, and so I, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll just have to come back and check it in a little while. Just make sure we're doing okay. I love doing that. <laughs> oh, look at that. It just started. Awesome. It's probably already gone through five stacks. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. How much has gone through? Wow, that is just burning through glass so fast. I don't. I know I don't have enough glass to finish this project. Um, but that's all right. Oh, you son of a! You screw with my project, you. Yeah, you better die. I didn't realize it actually happened. That it stopped it. Wow, it's too dark. I can't see anything. Right, let's go back over here. Oh yeah, you saw that race past. Cool. Um, it's probably going to use most of my glass just on the floor, which is kind of a, annoying, but oh well. Keep a little bit of glass just in case. There we go. Well, alrighty then. Um, I'm going to let this go for a while, let it finish. We get the kind of the cheating half on there, half off. Can we do that? Eh, not really. That's close. Well, all right. I'll come back when this is finished. Uh, when it's at least done some. <laughs> you can see that this is falling water here, which is kind of nice. I kind of wish. Yeah, let's close this back up just in case. I don't want water coming in here. 
there's enough stuff in this room that I, I don't want it to be um, all washed out or something. And then we'll close that up. It's kind of a backup solution, I guess. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, I got to leave the CFK for a while. Let it uh, go through the current glass reserves and see what happens from there. And uh, yeah, I'll get back when this actually gets to a, a good, a good breaking point. All right, we're back. Um, ran out of glass. Ran out of backup supplies of glass, and it doesn't have the floor done yet. So we need to step up the glass production. And so right now, um, what I have here is I have a system that'll convert cobblestone into glass, and that's great. Um, however, it doesn't do it very efficiently. And so what I want to do is step that up and make this whole process. Um, a bit better. So what I'm going to do is break down all of these old cruddy pipes. Well, not really cruddy, but just not what I want right now. Let's get rid of that. Let's uh, leave that the way it is, I guess. Yep, that's good. All right, and so what we're going to do is put supplier pipes in here. Oh, look, let's pick these up too. Dunk. Oops. Pimp. And so what I want to do here is set up a process where um, this this whole system will keep itself supplied. And so hopefully that will resolve some of the issues we have right now. So we're going to put a provider pipe here. We're going to all this too because we don't need this anymore. And those we can pick up because they're not needed. Let me clear this up a bit. Okay. Um, how am I going to do this? Okay, so I'll do... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we got provider pipes there as well. I think that should do it. So we're gonna, it's just going to supply, provide everything in this chest here into the system. And I need a basic logistics prep. I thought I had one, but I apparently didn't grab one. Do I have any? Here we go. Basic logistics. This will allow the network to function. So that's good. So there we go. So what this will do is these pipes will help keep these things here supplied from that chest. Um, but I need to teach it what to grab. So let me grab some cobblestone. As you can see, I have plenty. Previously, what my problem, or what a problem I had is that it, it never, um, the system didn't do a good job handling overflow. Doing it like this will prevent really any kind of problem with overflow. So let me get in there with a wrench. Put this in there. There we go. So let's pull that out and see what happens. Yep. So that'll keep that supplied up to 32. That's exactly what I want to see. And if I want to start switching out the type of uh, blocks I'm... Well, that's, that's kind of the downside, is that if I if I have another batch of something else I need to um, to worry about, I'll have to put it in there. But I can have nine different things in here, so it's not a big deal. Okay, let's see. So that's good. That's good. All right. So this will happily macerate <laughs> everything in this chest. Let me put some more cobblestone in there so it's a little bit more... Uh... There we go. I'm kind of glad I kept some cobblestone. Oops. There we go. And when that hits down, oh, there's another one. Yep, so that I keep it supplied forever. Well, for a while at least. All right, here we go. Let's go take a look at what we've done so far. All right, so you can see the giant pit has glass on the bottom. Where that isn't all that helpful, it, it has to be done. Otherwise, it won't do the rest of it. So that's okay. You know, I, I probably could have got away with... If I had looked... Yeah, I don't know. Never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I just think it, it just occurred to me that if I had lowered um, these corners down by one, it may have actually been fine. But uh, trying to get this corner to work underwater like this would have been, you well, know, a little annoying. Duh, lava. All right. Hey, what do you think you are? Ah, crap. 
come after me like that. Criminies. Okay. Well, the one concern I do have at this point is whether or not it actually removed these source blocks. I I want to say that it did, uh, just because of the way that water is falling right now. Um, but it's it's really hard to say. I'll have to I'll have to wait until it's finished, which I actually don't have it running right now. I should have turned it back on. I thought I did. Oh well. Let's do that right now. There we go. Boop. Ah, oh, I missed. I meant to land on top of my um, stuff there so I can get up to the top of the building. Oops. I'm jumping like an idiot. There we go. Ta-da! And now we should be back in business. Let's see. Right, let's just call him there here. Yep, you can see it moving across. Cool. I don't have a ton of glass left, but um, it's a start, I guess. How did you get stuck over there? What are you doing over there? You little bastard. Alright, well, I'm going to let this keep going. It's going to take probably a couple of days. Um... It may take a really long time to get this finished, but uh, that's what I'll be doing for the next probably couple hours is making making glass and bringing it down here. If I were smart, I'd build up a system to automatically supply it, but, hey, you know, can't have everything. <laughs> all right, I shall talk to you all later. Well, not talk to you all later. I'll be back in a minute. How about that? <laughs> all right, I've decided it'd probably be best if I um, upgrade the method in which items are pulled out of here. So out of these systems here, I, I want to do that because it'll help me, um, it'll make it easier to expand all of this um, if I need to. Well, I kind of think I want it. kind of think I do need to expand it because I want to be able to just really just, yeah. Yeah. I want to process more at once. And so um, I'm going to have to upgrade the system that pulls stuff out. So give me one moment. I'll show you what we're going to do to do that. So we're going to use this. These are called the filters. Filters will pull out of an inventory and put them into pneumatic tubing. So that's exactly what we want to do. And since we don't really care about the filtering, this will work just fine. This may actually be a harder way of doing it than it really should be, but hey, <laughs> that's all right. Doing it the hard way. Screw you. Do what you want. All right, well, somebody was asking about um, whether I had too many items installed. Um, I actually have have what's called the Not Enough Items, which has a um, recipe mode or cheat mode, depending on what you want to do. And I really like the recipe mode, so let's take a look here. So this is the timer. We'll bring up the recipe for the timer by hitting Q. And so this is the root timer here. So anode, cathode, all that kind of good stuff to get a timer question mark here will bring the recipe into this so stone point in the middle cathode there anodes stone wires and then stone wafers and then we got a timer awesome all right is that everything I want to do oh, I needed some I think I needed some red LA wire yay okay let's see if I know what I'm doing there's a good chance that I don't. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We'll let that filter into wherever it needs to go. The whole system is actually functional right now, so I don't really want to interrupt anything. These induction furnaces just cook things way faster than they can get than they're being fed right now so I think if I doubled the number of um, emaciators it would be no problem and I don't need these anymore so I'll pick those up uh, all right cool no that's unfortunate bummer 
All right, well, what I had down here was a setup that... Um, uh, oh, yeah, these can just be combined. There we go. That's fine. This is a setup to turn things on and off. Um, I can recreate this using red wire and make it have a lot you know, more efficient. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to put some smooth stone down there for now. All right. Let's see if I can get these pointing in the right direction. I think that's correct. I am not sure. Let's put the timer on here and see what happens. Maybe not. So I think that was correct. I think I can switch the direction on these with a screwdriver, though. So let me grab my screwdriver. Uh, there it is. What am I doing with that? No, you get down. And I want to say that should be towards the... Um, so small hole. There we go. I think that's correct. It's probably probably correct. Well. Hmm. You get power pneumatic tube. There we go. That'll be good. Probably gonna need some more, but it's okay. Let's figure this out. Not powering it. Why are you not? Why are you not powering it? Hmm. Maybe it needs to be connected to dust. Why do I have a machine block on me? Did I break something? Oh, don't tell me I broke something. Or I just randomly pick it up. What the heck? Did something blow up upstairs? <laughs> oh, we're good. Where did I get the machine block from? What in the world's going on here? Because I didn't break anything. Yeah, I am really confused now. Yeah, random thing in my inventory. Whatever. Okay, well, let's see here. Maybe it just needs to be dust. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Perfect. And then we'll do a dust across there. No. Oh. Um. Nope. Covers. That'll do. Oops. I don't need a delay there, do I? Oh, that's the one I picked up. How did I pick that up? I don't know what I did. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I'll have to make another one, I guess. It's cheap, I guess, so why not? Sure.
I'm just screwing everything up here. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I did that. Um, the reason why I did that is so that this uh, block here is on this, you know, this side. There we go. I want the heat to go down. Dang. So that way we can put the dust there. So that way this will propagate across. There we go. And so I need one more, I guess. One more. Oh, I even have the stuff for it. Cool. Why isn't that? Ah, that should work. <laughs> hmm. Now I am thoroughly confused. That should be working. That should work just fine. And I'm not really sure why it isn't. Maybe it needs to function like this. So let's put um, kind of didn't want to do it like this, but I guess if it's necessary. know that I get this so let's add some time to that hmm oh oh duh <laughs> I should have it. Yeah, that would certainly cause a problem. Um, how do I get... Damn it. Who designed this nonsense? Where am I going? There it is. Since they have power all the time, it doesn't get, you know, who cares if they get a military power? That makes total sense. Okay. We gather rain. I think everything should be working. What? <laughs> um. No, that's not supposed to be how it works. Okay. All right. I think I know what needs to be done now. <laughs> there we go. And now it should be going into the right side of things. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was... You know, I, I had this sneaking suspicion that I was doing something terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, 
There we go. That should be good. Excellent. And this induction furnace should be able to handle all six of these without any problem at all. And now I just need to build another Macy. Damn it. All right. Well, okay. What do I need to do to build one of those? Machine block. Okay, so it's... Uh, oops. So I need a circuit, some cobblestone, and some flint. Oh, that's hardly anything. I can do that. Nope. So flint... Circuits, machine block, some cobblestone. Yay! There we go. Back up to full speed. Whew. And I guess the next step to expanding this would be to create a, um, essentially another row. Well, possibly. Do I want to do another row or, because I would need, I would need at least a block separating these, I believe. Otherwise these pipes will freak out a little bit. So I have three blocks above, above here. So I can put the, the, the mace, yeah, there's... I wonder if it actually will take uh, from below. I think from below it, it feeds into here, so maybe not. Okay, well, I'll have to think about how I want to do that. It might be time to just to, to redesign this whole thing so it can uh, function even more efficiently. That's so cool. I like that. <laughs> okay. Well, that's enough for this episode. Uh, I got glass production going again. Better shape because we have so much, so much need for glass. It's ridiculous. And so I can keep this thing completely filled. Oops, don't want those in there. Somebody ate. All right. Well, someone's messaging me on they want to, I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, um, let me guys know what you think. If you have any suggestions for the system, I, I want to expand it. Go away. <laughs> Someone's asking me what my next video is. It's right now, damn it. <laughs> uh, that's a problem with giving out my uh, my Skype handle, is, or not a Skype handle, but my um, Steam handle is that one more thing. One more thing to cause beeping to on my computer when I'm doing a video. <laughs> All right. I shall talk to you all later. Have a nice day and uh, all that kind of good stuff.